Hey guys, hope you're all well. So today, tonight is kind of going to be something where I'm ticking a lot off the list. Um, for one, if anybody remembers this. You'll notice that I've not been into the attic since. Um, and when something generally happens up there, you know, I'm up that night if ladders are available or next day and you know just to give it a spray or whatever but it creeped me out a lot um the attic's been a bit of a different beast lately um you know we've we've come up multiple times where we've actually seen it shaking and stuff like that and then in the bedroom last night you know we used to get the banging on the roof ages ago and i'm saying probably two years ago but we've not had it for um you know like so long now so it's kind of spurred me just for go up into the attic i'll you know i've shown you there, there really isn't much holy water left but i'm going to give it a spray um might just try a spirit box or something for five minutes but this is really just like a flying visit or i forgot babe Will you bring me the um, crucifix? We're going to put that back up as well because it's really done nothing downstairs. Um, and in the attic, it might not work long term. You know, we keep having to go up and put some holy water, but generally, when it does happen, you know, thanks, babe. When we put, you know, the crucifix in and holy water, we get two, three weeks peace. Um, later on i'm going into the backyard um well we both are stacy's actually coming um we're setting fire and i'm going to see if we can get any sort of communication with alexa um yeah i'm not looking forward to going up here i hate it best of times but when stuff like you know when you see it moving and stuff no up here as well though maybe you can see it we've had a lot of um people say like we should put you know the sign of the cross on some of the beams so maybe i'll do that um why i'm up here <laughs> can you imagine the next person what lives here and they come up here and see all crosses drawn all over beams that would terrifying but I'm gonna give you a proper like look because I think people think that we have people like hiding behind you know here and suitcases and stuff and this is like a super 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 tiny attic I can't stand up straight in this um, take my slippers off so I'm safe Right, so all this is just the Christmas decorations, the tree's gone now. Um, down there, it's, re it's actually pretty, you know, dangerous fog because there's no boards. Um, I can't work out where our bedroom is under this. A lot of my bedroom is outside of that roof, you know, because it's like a flat roof one. Um, and here again the suitcase there and you can't think uh, that's an old empty boiler nobody can stand on that that's literally foam um, and there's no boards here so there's nobody you know hiding anywhere Ah. 
right. So I am going to put the crucifix up now. So that's back in its place. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil that would torch falling thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever Amen I'm just going to have a minute now see if I can get any sort of communication specifically asking about last night um, do you know what was banging on the roof on the ceiling no. it's, it's daylight outside now it's only about half three in the afternoon so if you hear people outside How does it feel that I've just sprayed holy water in here and that I've put the crucifix back in? I heard Vlad then instantly. Pain as well. Does that cause you pain? If it... Vlad again. If it causes you pain, say pain one more time. Vlad. Pain, I think. Pain. Pain. If that causes you pain, are you, are you, Vlad, are you a demon? Is Vlad a demon? No. No. Just constantly, just Vlad all the time. It's unreal, isn't it? What was last night? What was making banging noises on the ceiling in here? Who was making the banging noises? Vlad. Not gonna get any sense out of it, am I? Is this where you hide away? Are there any positive spirits up here? Hazel, I was speaking to you last night, are you around me? Leave, or Lee. Hazel, are you here? Here. Leave. I'm, I'm getting out. It said leave four or five times now. Yeah, forget that. I'm not. I'm not comfortable up here at best of times. I've said it. I said it before. Even you know when you take ghosts out the equation, an attic is a creepy place. It's like a basement, isn't it? Um, yeah, and you just feel vulnerable in here. There's so much stuff that could just be thrown now. Like, this has clearly had a beating at some point. We've seen it months ago, but the time before I came up, it was normal. And then, you know, we had noise in the attic and then we discovered that the box had been smashed. So they're, they're clearly able to, you know, show extreme violence. So hopefully the holy water will work, the crucifix, you know, we've got the pendant up there as well, St. Benedict. Um, yeah, just go have some tea in a bit and um, get prepared for 
you know, outside because it's going to be cold, we're going to have a fire and everything, so I'll speak to you in a bit, guys. It's like a grunt then behind me. Can you do that again? All right, so we've got the fire going. It's been going quite a while now. Uh, we've got a camera at the bottom of the yard. Um, Alexa, I don't know if you can see her. Alexa, what time is it? It's 6.23 p.m. Alexa, volume 10. Yeah, we've got everything set up now because um, I'm just going to do a bit of calling out on Alexa because it usually is the device where we get the you know superior conversation my device is great but Alexa kind of makes more sense um, caravan is so so tidy now um, beds ready for me tomorrow I think it's important for start spending more time outside you know because it's one of the most like weird places we see shadows we see all sorts in the yard but as of yet i don't think anything like untoward or bad has happened out here um oh i nearly slipped then Oh, bloody stat. Stace is coming out, she's just grabbing a, um, a blanket and she's got to get straight to it. I heard like a voice behind me, but it is early, so there could be people, you know, walking across the field. You're not coming out, my girl. Oh. Right, Alexa, what time is it? Right, if there's anyone out here, any spirits, the things that I see in the garden, the shadows, if you're able and willing to communicate, can you use that device there, what I've brought out? I brought it out before when I was sat over there in the corner and we had some amazing communication. If you're here, can you say hi? Smoke nailing me. If there's anyone here, can you say hi on that device behind me? And a sensation then that there was like something behind me. Can you tell me if you were like different from the things in the house, the shadows I see outside, are they the same as in the house? Are the shadows inside and outside the same or different? It's like proper frustrating when Alexa don't speak. Are the shadows? <laughs> Are the shadows inside and outside the same or different? Come on, 
down there. Can you tell me your name? Peeing it wind here, I think. Maybe it's because it's kind of on the, you know, the doorway, like inside, we get the negative communication. Outside we get, not negative, we just get weird stuff, but maybe it's because the um, thing is just on the, like, you know, boundary of in and out. Let's try and spirit talker for a minute. We were executed. Can you start off by saying something that is actually relevant? Can you, so I know I'm speaking to something intelligent, can you say hello or hi? Mistake. Please say hello or hi. Would it help if I walk around the yard? Would you like me to walk around the yard? We like the dark. <sighs> did you hear me? I certainly did. I had a long life. <sighs> Sliced. Sliced. Is the spirit that calls herself Murray here? Actually, try sitting it, Carol. I know you. I hope you know me. Stabbed. I'm going to sleep out here tomorrow night. If I bring that device, what I've just been trying to use, why I've been next next to the fire, will you communicate with me? Audrey. Audrey. We've 100% had that outside, haven't we? Mirrors. Yeah, I'm, Florence. I'm not feeling it with communication. Alexa has been off and on lately, to say the least. I have a feeling though that it could because it's like inside and outside, it's on the boundary. Money. And this is just, at the minute, just completely saying random words. I'm going to go in in a minute. Can you tell me something that's actually relevant to make me stay outside? Something that I know that I'm talking to an intelligent spirit. Can you show yourself behind me? Can you show your energy? No way an orb has just gone down there and it looked like a big one. Can you do that again? Can you show that energy? I had one eye. I had one eye. Can you show me that energy again? He screams. This is just completely random. Stirred like a ticking outside of me, but I can't think yet. It could windy. be dogs. It is windy. You've got from the time it takes me to secrets here. Text to get to the house and then I'm going in. Guillotine. Yeah. Should be scared. You can tell with Alexa. Um, 
there's no point me spending 20 minutes trying to get some communication for it. If it's going to happen, it just happens. My name is Emily. Emily. Yeah, it just happens. Um, I might come back at yard after, you know, when the streets died down and everything. Um, for now, I'm going to go and have a bath and get changed because I absolutely stink of smoke. I'll use my voice. If I am speaking to any spirits, I want, I want to thank you for attempting to communicate on this. Um, Maybe. You will have more options tomorrow. Right, get myself sorted. Right, I'm, um, you'll have seen anyway, I'm watching, a, I think it's a Discovery Channel documentary about Vlad the Impaler. Um, I'm not actually sure how long I'm in to the actual programme, but the TV screen has just turned off and I kind of saw like a, like a flash, you know, Go, go like down the living room. I'm not sure if it was, you know, like a big orb or a shadow or anything. Let me get camera. Yeah, I'm just sat in the back room watching the documentary, what I've just said. The TV has just gone off. But as it did, I kind of saw some of go down there um what it was i truly have no idea could have just been the do you know the uh, what's it called like an effect from you know the tv going off how they like kind of flash oh, i've been watching that as well earlier on kind of got me thinking do you know with all the weird stuff that we do have going on in the backyard I thought, is it actually possible to have phenomena of like paranormal and like up there? And I remember a while ago, I'd watched a couple of episodes of these and I've completely forgot about it, but I've kind of started getting back into it and it blew my mind. That program, um, Skinwalker Ranch or something, is more or less like a kind of, you know, it's similar to everything what's going on here we've got the weird paranormal stuff but we've also got the 
you know, I just call it weird stuff. I don't like saying what I think it is, but... <sighs> get care to me to just for, see if there is. You know, like... This, if it goes off, it might be off the TV. Right, so the TV's not setting it off and there is no... Right, so that is... Could that just be like residual energy? doing like a grid pattern so that is clearly not the TV what just set that off that's it it'd still be going off wouldn't it even touching the lamp that's on it's not going off so I'm going to sell whatever's happened was in or around this area because we've just we've just had some clear residual EMF readings though. It was only slight. It was nothing like in the back room, the other in the front room the other day. But yeah, I really need to get back. You know, constantly using these tools. You know, process of elimination there and. I've pinpointed that there was EMF over there. Slight, but still EMF. I'm going to get the film back on now. Um, hopefully, it just lets me watch it. That was a pain trying to find where around I was, but I'm there now. That's the pouring up pulling Irie Castle there on screen. That's where I got the castle from. doing me nothing now I was actually you know trying to watch that then for general interest and I even thought piss it off um, why it's pissing me off now I'm going to I'm going to get the piece of castle you know the box and we'll see we'll see if I can piss it off All right, so I've got the piece of castle. Where is it? Just going to stick it on here. That's remote. I've got a K2 meter. So I don't know if you can see that, but there is no no residual um, readings coming from that. It's just staying at finger. I don't know where I put it actually, so you can see it and I can. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's best I can do. So you've interrupted me once again. I'm trying to watch something. I'm trying to relax. 
sticks and you spoil it for me. You seem to like doing that. Does this box mean something to you? You can answer my question by coming close. That just shot up and to be fair, I didn't expect it to. I was just going for grab it. So I don't know if that was me, you know, if it gets your energy or something. So is there something important in this box? Something important to you? That was all the way up to, up to red and it just spiked up again to red. Then to the middle one. Does it come from Romania? Is what's in the box from Romania? It's kind of flickering on the, you know, the second green one. Is what's in this box a piece of your home? You can hear that and you can, you can, there we go. Still moving. No residual EMF or anything around that. Do you like the fact that I conquered your castle and I brought a piece back? How does it feel that an Englishman has the mighty Vlad the Imperialist castle in a simple shoebox? <clears throat> does it not bother you? Do you want me to take the piece of castle back to Romania where I got it from? Going off, it hit red. I saw twice then, it's just gone up again to red. Up to orange. If I take the piece of, pa of castle back, would it bring you peace? That was actually on red then for quite a while. Whereabouts are you? I'm not picking anything up at all around it. If I do take your castle back, I'm worried that you might try to hurt me. Is that the case? Would you be angry?
that could have just been something at random, but it went up, just just flickered on the first one. So that's some other stuff. Um, am I your brother? Am I your brother from another life? Went up to red again then. Is your wife in this house now? Is she somewhere in this house? My little castle, yep. Is she in... spirit form? Uh, it's flashing and that's just confused me. Um, you know, we, we know that it constantly says the Anastasia stuff. Is she in bed upstairs? No, that doesn't make sense. So she's in spirit form. Come to me. Come to me and make this light up. Now it's in my hand. Show me your power. Blow my mind. Make it light up now. Do something that I'm asking you for once, like you did in the kitchen. Make it light up. It's away from the energy. It's away from your piece of castle. Let everybody see how strong you are. Why do you never listen to me when I ask you to do something? It is flickering just a bit though. Is your wife Anastasia? Anastasia is my wife. That scared me to death then. the bang combined with <laughs> yeah that's just blown my mind um Proving a valuable tool, this. I'm gutted I've not used it in you know so long. So overnight, um, over there, when the drawer moved, you know there was a clear like. In fact, there was a lot of EMF. And then we've been in there when I was watching the Vlad the Impaler documentary, and there was some like residual EMF here because this did flicker. It weren't a lot like in there. And now I've just been sat there with this on the piece of castle. Oh, and it's been going off. Um, do you know, I've always said I don't believe it is Vlad the Impaler, but it's played a bloody you know, a blinding, what do you call it, like a lie, I suppose. It's stuck to that, you know, from get-go, more or less. It knows so much historically 
it's spot on. In fact, I don't even think it's been wrong. You know, there's, there's just that little doubt in your mind that you think, Christ, it must be. It just knows too much, but at the same time, you know, a lot of you have told me that, you know, it's, it's you know, if you're dealing with a demon, they're deceitful and they, you know, they know everything really. And I, personally, I think the whatever is in the house, I think it does have the ability to read your mind. As stupid as that sounds, because it knows me, you know. It knows your fears, you know, it, everything. It just, they just know everything about you. Uh, I'm going to make a brew now and see what rest that night holds.